Hi, this is Risa. Welcome to my Craft Along series. I'm going to show you how to attach your embroidery piece on a wooden pincushion. I'm using the embroidery piece I completed from the Dragonfly on Water Lily kit I bought at Lorna Bateman's shop on Etsy. If you're interested, you can click on the links above to watch the kit review and stitch along videos on this channel. As you've seen, I've removed the inner tack lines that I use as reference while stitching, and now I'm going to use the outer running stitches as reference to cut out the cloth in a circle. And then I'm going to remove those stitches as well before I attach it to the pincushion. First, I'm going to unscrew the top from the wooden base, and it's a small oak pin cushion that I bought on Lorna's shop and I must say they are really of very good quality. So here you have it, I've taken it off and now I'm going to just see sort of how it fits. Now the next thing to do is to cut out the muslin around the embroidery piece at the back of the fabric and I guess when you do this, you ensure that when you fold the cloth over the pin cushion, um, it folds smoothly and you don't have sort of a thick cloth going around the pin cushion. To ensure that the embroidery is in the center of the pin cushion, I'm going to temporarily fix the fabric with pins all around. There it is, I've pinned the fabric tightly around the pin cushion so I know exactly where the embroidery should be before I start sticking the back of the fabric to the pin cushion using a glue gun. Next I'm going to trim off some of the extra fabric so that I don't have fabric overlapping when I stick it to the pin cushion at the back. Now it's time to start using the glue gun and I must say that it's a bit nerve-wracking because once I stick the fabric it would be difficult to sort of correct it once it's hardened in case there are kinks and folds. So I'm using a little ice cream stick to sort of spread the glue, the hot glue, and be careful the hot glue can be very hot so make sure you don't sort of touch it directly, you can fold the cloth over it and then it'll be fine. So as you can see I'm just sort of pulling the cloth smooth around the pin cushion and then removing the pins as I go and then sticking it onto the hot glue. So I'll keep doing this and sort of adjusting the cloth as I pull it across the back and stick it and hopefully I'll get a nice round smooth surface along the edges of the pin cushion. I'll try my best. The pin cushion is ready and now I'm going to screw it back on to the wooden base. Here it is, I've finished the pin cushion and for the final touch I'm going to use iridescent raffia ribbons to create a cord for the pin cushion by first taking a sufficient length of it and then twisting it as I'm doing now around the hoop stand and then letting it sort of twirl naturally and then tightening the twirls a little bit like so and now I'm going to wrap it around the pin cushion and sort of tie a knot so that it doesn't unravel and before doing that I'm just uh, attaching the cord to the pin cushion 
what I noticed was that the pin cushion is really small so the cord keeps sort of coming off every time I try to tighten it so by using the pins I'm able to sort of pin it in place while I tie a knot and one end. For the final touch, I'm going to use a dark blue single strand of thread to stitch the cord to the pincushion using tiny hidden stitches. And here's the completed pin cushion, another gorgeous Lorna Bateman design. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to click the subscribe, like and notification buttons to get all the updates of videos in my channel. See you again next time. Bye bye.